Well, 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 guys. The Russian experiment with the Germans and the Mexicans didn't work. Um, but what did work is... Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tax. Well, today is going to be a challenging day. If you haven't watched my R32 project update video, that was the one before this. I'll leave a link uh, right here, or here, or here, or here, anywhere. I'll leave it there if you want to see all the projects I have left to get done. My goal is to get the undercarriage, the suspension, the calipers, the rotors, uh, and my subframe project done this week. Today's Tuesday. By this week, hopefully Sunday, it can all be done. So that means I really gotta get cranking. But today's challenging project is there are four bolts in the front subframe. Let me just show you quick. I will point them out now. And I will point out which one the bolt is stripped. And that is somewhere in the frame. So today's project is apparently there is an access panel to that strip nut uh, under the driver's pedals. So I'm gonna rip the carpet away, remove some stuff there and see if I can get to that nut. If I can get to that nut, the best way to fix it is to grind it out and then weld in a new nut. Unfortunately, I don't have a welder here, so what I am going to do, the next best thing, is get a longer bolt and a new nut and just go through the old bolt that's already stripped. That will be my fix for now. I've read online that's worked. Um, if that doesn't work, if I can't access the bolt, the other option is to drill out that bolt, tap a new thread into there, and then put something, I think it's called the helix in there, where it actually gets your thread back to the stock thread and see if that works. Ideally, option one is, is gonna work because that sounds easier. And then when this car is all back together and I have time, I will take it to a body shop, get that old nut um, grind, ground out and then weld a new one in there so it's back to normal. The next project is, if you saw a previous video, I just installed this front sway bar and it is actually touching the steering rack right there and I cannot bolt the steering rack back. So what I've been informed is remove the front sway bar, re-bolt the front steering rack down and then install the front sway bar. So that's what I am also gonna be working on today. Hopefully both of those issues get resolved today. If not, uh, this R32 for sale. Here's the link below in the comments. Luckily, there is an access point, but unluckily, gotta rip more of the car apart. So, here's a box of stuff I had to remove just to get to that component or that opening, and then all this carpet. This is, there was a gasket here. Here's the strip. Yeah, you can feel there's not even a thread on there. So, if you have a, <laughs> a subframe nut that's stripped, Sorry, <laughs> but uh, that's how you access it. So I'm glad there is an access point. Um, I think the easiest thing, honestly, is to get a bigger, uh, bigger bolt and then nut. Here's the stock bolt. Hold on. So this is the stock bolt. I think it's 64 millimeters long. Yeah, it's 61 millimeters without the head of the nut. So I think I'm just gonna go get a grade eight bolt uh, that's a bit longer than this 
and thread it through so I can get this project moving. Um, Cause yeah, that's not fun. I'm not gonna run to the hardware store now, but I found that. I have a buddy joining me. He's gonna come help me uh, get the front end back together. So progress, progress. Even though I just found a problem, not fix it. I keep on running I think uh, ran into a bit of luck here. Um, I'm gonna ride that luck train as long as it lasts. So uh, the front sway bar, I did exactly what everyone said and it worked out, so that fits. Put the subframe all back in, hand tightened. Uh, those bolts are one-time use bolts, I got more bolts coming, but uh, they all tighten. And the cool thing is, whoever stripped that nut before updated the bolt and it's actually longer, so I'm just gonna go buy a nut and thread it on the end of that bolt. And then life's easy. So that's all done. I've got my buddy here helping me out, so I'm gonna utilize him while I can. Now I'm gonna replace whatever these thingies are called, cause if you remember when I took off the rotors, one was rusted in there and I've stripped this hole. So I'm gonna replace those caps and then see what else we can get done. Forever young Or am I faking on the tip of my tongue There's a sarcasm waiting for you Well, well, well. Ingenuity at its finest. I've got a Russian come along, hooked to my rear hub assembly. German. <laughs> German or Mexican, depending on where your VW is made. And we need to try to get this nut off. We've tried everything and we can't. So, wish us luck. Well, 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 guys. The Russian experiment with the Germans and the Mexicans didn't work. Um, but what did work is an impact wrench and a lot of noise and it pulled off this one nut On this side, but not the other side and then we're using this puller to pull off this rear hub assembly, but it cannot pull off Because I don't have any other control arms, so that's fun. So I guess uh, one project at a time next time so we're gonna leave the back end as it is right now until I replace those bushings because those bushings are soaking in gasoline right now. Um, so under the front end, what we're gonna do is put the shock back in, replace the brake lines. And keep trying again. I must say it's been a very productive day um, here's where we stand I got shit all over my face but anyways uh, we put the original original shock uh, that I got with the car back in since I'm ice racing I don't want to spend a boatload of money on shocks and then hit a bank and bend one or do something stupid so I figured these will work just fine for now um, so we put the front back together haven't tightened anything down a lot of the bolts are one-time use only so I've re I've ordered those I'm just waiting for them also uh, put in a new brake line and I guess the next step for here rotor caliper pads and then the front end is basically done minus just tightening everything to torque spec and then marking making sure these bolts don't move just visually so you can inspect it so I think overall today, very good progress. Uh, it's all coming along. So thanks for tuning in. As always, be sure to like and subscribe if you find this content interesting. If you hate me, give me a like. If you love me, give me two likes. No, give me three, because I think if you like 
three times it likes back anyways um, but thanks for tuning in until next time i'll see you then